Okay, so the structure of this question is this. You have two times. You have two times. You have the two times first bracket times the second bracket equals to zero. Right? Am I right or not? Right now. So now, can I ask you, can you get rid of the two by by divide two on the left hand side? If you divide 2 on the left hand side, you need to divide 2, divide two on the right hand side. Does it make sense? So if you divide by 2, must be times, uh, that's why I say times. Uh. You divide by 2, so if you divide by 2, that means the 2 is gone. So you left with p minus 3 and p plus 5. Does it make sense? And then 0 divided by 2 is? zero therefore after that what you do this one equals to zero this one equals to zero and then solve it separately my question is slightly different than your question because i make up this question myself so the answer might be might not be the same but the technique and the approach should be the same okay so you get these two answers okay so what i what i saw in your working just now is instead of doing it this way instead of divided by 2 on both sides by the way why I divide by 2 on both sides because it's multiplication so I can get rid of the 2 so instead of get rid of the 2 right what you have done is you try to multiply the 2 in correct you can do it this way but it's not necessary Okay, so if you multiply it inside, you end up with this, right? So it's 2p minus 6 equal to 0, then p plus 5 equal to 0. So this one will give you negative 5. This one will give you 2p equal to 6, p equal to 3. Can you see you get the same answer? Yeah. 3 and minus 5 compared to 3 and minus 5. Okay, but this one, definitely more complicated. Right? Right? Wow, well, you can actually get rid of the 2. Okay? So what, what if I have a 12 here? Le? What you can do? Uh, divide by 12. On? On both sides. Yes. Divide by 12 on both sides. Remember that. On both sides. Okay? So that's how you solve this.